Hey guys, Bohemian Rat here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a honeycomb hammock for your rats. Uh, you're going to want two different kinds of fleece, or you could have um, one kind of fleece and one side be flannel. And you're going to cut out three different squares of both fabrics. Top is going to be nine by nine. The bottom is going, or the middle is going to be 11 by 11, and the bottom is going to be 14 by 14. And you want to cut it about a uh, half inch to an inch bigger than your desired end size. This hammock size is going to be good for, um, you know, three to six rats. You're going to need some way of cutting the fleece. Uh, you're also going to need scissors. You're also going to need pins. You're also going to need a sewing machine. You could sew these by hand, but it would take a lot longer. You're also going to want a thread that matches the color of your hammock. I've already, I've already sewn this square together. You you want to put you want to place the two right sides together. So basically, the two more brightly colored or softer sides together. Sew those around the edge like so, and you're going to leave about couple inch gap and then you're gonna go and cut along cut all this excess fabric so. also what you want to do is make sure I always leave this part uncut because what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to fold it right side out. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're actually going to fold it, pin that, and then we're going to sew all the way around again to um, ensure that it's flatter and that it's more durable. And we're going to trim off all the threads. Alright, and then now we have the top part which has hidden seams and then the double outer stitching. And then we're going to move on to the next hammocks. Alright, I've placed the hammocks together. I've put both the right sides together. And we're just going to pin the second level of this hammock together. I like to pin the corners together first so that way it doesn't slide around as much. What I like to do is, when I start sewing, so I'll sew about three stitches. One second. One, two, three. And then push this little back stitch button three times. So then that ensures um, that it's not going to come out, that the string's not going to come out. Whatever side of the hammock that you want on the top, so if I wanted my hammock to hang like this, then I would sew this, I would, I would sew with this side facing up, like so. Alright, I've gone ahead and sewed the final hammock as well, and now comes the tough part where we're going to sew the corners to the sides of the hammocks. Alright, so we're going to line up the two hammocks like this. So have one kind of like a diamond shape and the other a square. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the corners, tuck them under here, and then we're going to sew those together um, on all four sides. So the first couple corners are going to be pretty easy. All 
Alright, so we have the two hammocks here, and I've already sewn it together, but I'm just going to sew it again. Alright, so this is why I said it gets a little bit harder um, the farther you go along and why it's not exactly a beginner hammock, because all these corners are sewed now, um, and so we really have to be careful when we sew this um, to not accidentally, you know, sew something else. And we're going to place this um, so that the top hammock and the bottom hammock are both square. And then we're just going to sew these together like we did with the top part. All right, yay, we are done with sewing. Um, so we have a practically finished product here, but you may be wondering to yourself, how am I gonna hang this? Well, for this hammock, I am going to be putting grommets in the four corners of this top hammock, and I'll be showing you how to do that. If you don't have grommets, um, that's okay. You can just use safety pins and then uh, just pierce them through the corners and then hook them to your cage. Okay, so you're going to need a grommet set and a hammer, grommets, washers that go on the back, a scissors to cut holes. You're going to cut a hole that is smaller than this hole because it will stretch a little bit. These are 3 8 inch grommets, if you're wondering, um, and then this is a 3 8 inch grommet set or kit. Alright, so I've went ahead and cut holes in all four corners, and now we're going to use our anvil, and uh, I believe this is called a die or a setter, I'm, I'm not really sure, and we're going to set the grommets in. going to take this and we're going to put it on the underside. We're going to place it on the anvil. We're going to take the washer, place it on top, making sure that the rounded side is on top. Then we're going to take our die, and then take our hammer, There it is, it's set in place. All right, we have our finished product. Um, I've put grommets on all four corners. And now I'm just gonna go hang it up and show you what it looks like. 